Halloween is right around the corner and if you still haven't figured out what you want to be, why not a magical, glittery, majestic unicorn? I feel like this look is super pretty and fairly simple to do. I've already done my foundation, so for the brows, I'm taking BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Waterproof Brow Pomade and I'm just going to use that with an angle brush to fill it in and I'm just doing the normal shape that I do which is medium sized, softly arched. Next, I'm going to take this purple glitter and I wish I could just inject this on my hand and turn it into a unicorn, but that's not going to happen, so I'm just going to apply them on my brows with some adhesive. Now I'm going to take this pink eyeshadow from my BH Morden Mattes eyeshadow palette and I'm going to brush this on the corners of my face, on the cheekbones, forehead, and later down my neck. I just feel like I want to make my skin look more magical. Now I'm going to take the purples from the same eyeshadow palette. The lighter one, I'm just going to mix it with the pink. And then the darker purple, I'm going to use it to kind of chisel out my cheekbones and make my facial features stand out. The dark purple is my contour color for this look, so I'm also going to apply this above my crease. Now on the eyelids, I'm taking this Benefit Brow Highlighter and this is just going to make my eyelids stand out really bright. Um, so this is going to be the base and then over it, I'm going with a roll-on shimmer eyeshadow. On my inner corners, I'm going to apply this baby blue eyeshadow and I feel like I can incorporate a lot of bright colors in this makeup because my wig is like a rainbow. To create a softer cut crease, I'm going to take a deeper pink and apply it right above the white eyeshadow. And then I'm also going to add some purple to make it look more intense. Now I'm going to start focusing on the lower lash line. So applying pink eyeshadow first and then going in closer to the lashes with the darker purple. To line my eyes, I'm going to take a black gel liner. You can use other fun colors if you want to. I just start from the inner corners, glide it, and take it outwards. Since horses have long lashes, unicorns probably do too. So I'm taking these Miami eyelashes from Lily Lashes and just applying it on my upper lash line. After the eyes, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use none other than the popular rainbow highlighter. I'm taking a flat top contour brush and then swiping it right above my cheekbones. I'm going to go ahead and highlight some more using Wild and Radiant BH Cosmetics palette. I'm going to go down my nose first and then above my lips and also on my collarbone. On the lips, I'm going to take this nudish pink liquid lipstick called Andorra. This one's from BH. Um, I also decided to add another pink liquid lipstick to make it the right color. Now, I don't know if some of you guys noticed, but I have purple contacts on and I'm just brushing glitter on the sides of my face. The rhinestones are optional. If you have time and you want to take it to the next level, you can just use some eyelash glue and just glue these uh, white rhinestones around your face and then down your neck. Now I'm applying more glitter because I feel like you just can't have enough glitter for a unicorn look. I'm also using BH Cosmetic brushes. If you guys want a discount code for all BH Cosmetic makeup, um, I have 15% discount code. It's PROMISE15. Also, if you guys are wondering where I got this gorgeous rainbow wig from, it was custom made for me by Darnell Wald, and he also has a wig store called PowderRoomD.com. Finally, I'm going to show you guys my costume. So the tutu unicorn dress is from Leg Avenue. It's called Fantasy Unicorn and also the white tights. Last but not least, I'm going to accessorize with the unicorn horn. This horn also lights up. And then I'm going to add some flowers that I got from Walmart. It was actually a headband that I cut out um, and some wings from Party City. There you have it. That's how you can look like the majestic, mystical unicorn. It also kind of reminds me of Princess Celestia's look from My Little Pony. 
But thank you guys so much for watching and happy Halloween.